Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have the National Bank Open this week, the Canadian Open. It's a WTA 1000 event, and we have some big names playing in this one because it is a big event, but there are some names that are pulled out as well, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So some key players are pulled out of this one. We have Alexandrova. She's pulled out. World number one, Ash Barty. She's pulled out. The gold medalist at the Olympics, Belinda Bencic. She is also pulled out. Brady is pulled out. Kennan Kerber. French Open champion, Krejcikova is pulled out. The Australian Open champion, Naomi Osaka is pulled out. Sviantec also pulled out and Vondra Sova is also out of this event. All right, starting at the top of the draw and we have 16 seeds in this one. Top eight seeds get a bye in the first round. Arena Sabalenka, she's going to be the number one seed because Ash Barty and Naomi Osaka both not playing this event. She gets a bye in the first round. She was taking the winner of Yastremska and Stevens who were going at it in the first round. Then we got Bedosa versus Golubic. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Marino or the number 16 seed Keys in the second round. Then we got the number 11 seed Sakari taking on Buzko Winner of that match takes on either Kudamatova or Putin Seba in the second round. Then we've got Risk versus Kostea. Winner of that match takes on the number eight seed, Victoria Azarenka. So pretty strong part of the draw with some really good players that are in form in 2021. Of course, we're going to watch out for the two big seeds, Sabalenka Azarenka, because Sabalenka has had a really good season on the hard courts. And of course, Victoria Azarenka this time last year won Cincinnati and of course made the final of the US Open. So got to watch out for both of those. And also Maria Sakari. I'm watching out for her as well because she played a really good event at the Miami Open earlier this year on the hard courts. A bit disappointing at the Olympics, but this is a tournament that she could definitely thrive in, especially with some of the big names that are not playing. So definitely got to keep an eye on Sakari as well. Second quarter of the draw now, we've got the number four seed, Pliskova. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier or Vekic who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got a couple of qualifiers going at it. Winner of that battle is going to take on either another qualifier or the number 14 seed, Makova, in the second round. So a lot of qualifiers in this part of the draw. Then we've got the number 12 seed, Rebakina. Taking on Samson over in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Joe or Tormo in the second round. Then we've got Ostapenko versus Siniakova. Winner of that match takes on the number five seed, Muguruza, in the second round. So an interesting part of the draw here. Pretty wide open for me. But you've got to watch out for the two big seeds. Plishkov, of course, making the Wimbledon final only a couple of weeks ago. Let's see if she can convert that onto the hard courts. And of course, Muguruza as well, who's had a really good hard court season. Before the clay court season, she was on fire. She actually had match points against those. Osaka at the Australian Open as well. So very, very accomplished on hard courts in 2021. And also Rabakina. I want to see how she bounces back after playing for the last couple of weeks. Of course, made the semi-finals of the Olympics. Came fourth in the Olympics, so missed the podium. Interested to see how she does this week because we know that she can play on the hard courts. Heading to the third quarter of the draw now, the top of the bottom half, we've got Kvitova, the number seven seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She awaits the winner of Tomjanovic and Ferro, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Lynette versus Podoroska. Winner of that match takes on either Georgie or the number nine seed Mertens in the second round. Then we've got the number 15 seed Coco Goff. She takes on Sevastova in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Rogers in the second round. Then we have Zhang versus Conta. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed and Olympic bronze medalist Alina Svetolina. So again, got to watch out for the top seeds here. Kvitova hasn't done great over the last couple of months. Played really well on the hard courts at the start of the year. We haven't seen her play that well on the hard courts since then. Of course, Svetolina Alina, bronze medal at the Olympics only a couple of weeks ago. Let's see how she can back that up at this tournament as the number three seed. And you've got to watch out for Coco Goff. This is a tournament and probably a good part of the draw for her where she can maybe get through, make the quarterfinals, possibly the semifinals. So very interested to see how she does in a pretty open draw if she can get past Svetolina. In the bottom quarter of the draw, we've got the number six seed, Simona Halep. She's back. We haven't seen her since the clay court season before the French Open. Of course, she pulled out of Wimbledon, pulled out of the French Open, pulled out of the Olympics. Get to see her finally. She's back. So let's keep an eye on her. She gets a bye in the first round. Second round matchup's going to be tough, though, because she's going to play the Collins or Teichman, who were going at it in the first round. Then we've got Contivate versus Pagula. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 10 seed Pavlachenkova, who just won a gold medal in the mixed doubles at the Olympics. Then we've got the number 13 seed Jabor taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Martic or Kazakina in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw taking on the wildcard Fernandez. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed and local favorite Bianca Andrescu, who's actually the defending champion of this event from two years ago. 
The players we're watching out for, again, the big seeds. We're watching out for Andrescu, defending champion. Played really well here two years ago. Beat Serena Williams along the way as well. So should be interesting to see how she does in front of her home crowd again. But this time, she's the number two seed. Last time, she was a bit of an underdog. So let's see how she can cope with the pressure of being the top dog. And of course, Simona Halep. We haven't seen her since playing the clay court season. So it's been a long time. Let's see how Halep can rebound and get back on the hard courts. And also interested to see how Pagula does this week because she's played really well this year. Got some big wins. And there's a lot of good players in this part of the draw. So maybe if she can get through her first couple of rounds, she might be able to trouble some players, especially because we know Halep hasn't played that much. And if they do meet in the third round, there's a possible upset on the cards. So interested to see how Pagula does this week. There you have it. The Canadian Open, the Montreal event for the WTA. It's a massive event. It's a WTA 1000 event, a lead-up event for the US Open, only a couple of weeks away. And we've got some big names playing. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? I'm excited to watch Simona Halep back in action. Of course, Bianca Andreescu also back in action. See how they can go on the hard courts because we haven't seen them that much on the hard courts and doing well on the hard courts this year. So interested to see how they go. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you excited to watch? And who do you think is going to win this event? All right, having a look at the draw and seeing who might actually get through and win. I'm going to go with the number three seed Svetlina. Now, she's just coming off one of the best wins of her career, an Olympic medal, a bronze medal, of course. And she's got a pretty good draw. I know Goff and Kvitova are going to be tough to beat. But being in the bottom half of the draw, I feel like might benefit her. And she's full of confidence right now. She just won an Olympic medal. Of course, she got married a couple of weeks ago as well. So she's having a really good time at the moment, just in life in general. So I'm going to go with her to get through and win this event. But again, WTA, who knows what's going to happen? Again, let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? So the Canadian Open, a massive tournament leading up to the US Open, only a couple of weeks away. 